Let's -a go. Yo, what is going on guys? It is me, the Ninja Reviewer here, and welcome. This is it. Boys and girls, children of all ages, it is time for the ultimate greatness of the finale, man. It has been a long ride with this series. I really thought we were going to go for at least maybe one more year, or maybe two more years even. Shit, I thought we would be maybe like... At least two years. I mean, if not next year, maybe the year after that, maybe like 2018, it would have finished. <clears throat> Excuse me. But no, but no. What is going on is basically, this is really the end. Now, I thought we... <clears throat> Excuse me. My prediction of the Torical chapters, or at least where it would end with number, my prediction was like 400 and something. Like, or better yet, at least 400. Damn. At least make it like 400. Which I, we, we were close. We were somewhat almost there to 400 chapters which again that was sort of a scary prediction that it was going to be four uh 400 chapters which you know so we were close eh, almost there to 400 at least so that was pretty much my other guess as well <sighs> man I, i'm not ready to say goodbye to Torico, man my, my my daily meds my, my daily drugs of Torico, the hype the the sweat the fucking sweat was real, man. Oh my god, me having almost having a heart attack with this here. Dude, it, it, it's it's the greatest manga of all time, man. And, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love One Piece to death. And I guess I will still continue forward to... I still look forward to continuing to reading One Piece, as always. But that ain't gonna end anytime soon. So, at least, you know, I still have that. I'm gonna try my best to catch up to My Hero Academia. Maybe that'll be my new replacement for Toriko. Maybe. But I'll have to do a lot of marathoning and bench reading in order to get to where we are right now in My Hero Academia. So, I am starting to, you know, just bear with me, guys. I'm trying to catch up to it. And then once I do, I will have Toriko Greatness replaced probably with My Hero Academia, which is probably the next best thing. So, that's probably what I plan on, on doing uh, right after Toriko is about to end. So, again, I'm going to try and keep reading as most as I can. But now it's, a, now it's the time for me to replace it. And put my hero academia in its place. Well, that's what I'm probably gonna do. I'm trying to aim for that. Maybe let's hope. But anyways, let's just dive right in for the final time. It's finally time. I mean, it's finally back. Performing for you. If you know the words, you can join in too. Put your hands together if you want to clap. Ikidaki mas. Thanks for the food. I know I screwed. <laughs> Yo, I screwed that up deeply. But anyways, let's begin. It's time for the end. La 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 with gratitude to all ingredients everywhere, thanks for the food. Chapter 396, still yet unseen ingredients. Now then, where should we head next? And it's a really nice color page of Toriko and Komatsu with the backpacks. Even though it's weird, it kind of reminds me of the freaking way that the anime version ended. Which is kind of weird, except that they're wearing their, like, their movie costumes. Oh, here we go. Oh, 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 here we go. We got some more color. Oh, I really hope the whole chapter's in color, because if not... Ah, uh, that's gonna really suck. But I only heard it's only for like the opening at the beginning, so I think the rest is all black and white. Plant in between mountains of swimming shiny ingredients. And then we scroll down, we see the blue, and. Is that who. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <coughs> oh shit! The third! Yeah, the third! Yo! There he is! But it's. Yo! I see the wig! I see the wig! Yeah, we finally get to see our glorious Lord and Savior with the angel wings in color, man. He would, yeah, what a dog, yo. So that's what he looks like. So for all the people saying that he was green, but people thought, you know, red, blue, and green. But no, this dude is like grayish white sort of. And I think that's even more terrifying. I would say I think that's more terrifying just it being green. I think it's a more terrifying color. 
man, we, we need that dude in our lives, especially now. Toriko and his appetites. So he's chilling with his appetites a few years after Toriko and Ren's wedding reception. Oh, so we are getting a time skip. Well, it's not that much, but it's a few years later. Yeah, so this is the new fairy tale castle. It's right out of a storybook. Oh, hey, that's um, Utaki's uh, fairy tale restaurant. Cool, so we finally got open. That's awesome. An orphan age where children can eat God. You finally realized your dream, Take. Thank you, Koma. It's thanks to IGO and the C uh, Seiya organization. Also, the Seiya also helped. Okay, that's uh, pretty interesting. Given their foolish cooperation efforts on the selective breeding and artificial um, covetation of God that this castle became a reality. Now we're getting tons of applicants rushing in to unroll apart from just the children in need. I suppose that's the honor of being able to eat God here. Even adults are wanting to unroll. The children that leave this park are well known for counseling on with their lives, with strength and conviction in their hearts. Yes, and even if they ever uh, should stumble or lose their way, they can find their way back here anytime uh, they like. Oh, so that's cool. So you got like, you know, some kids, some teenagers, young adults. It's actually pretty cool. And they're all just like, Uniting with each other as one in this fairy tale fantasy like restaurant. That's actually really sweet. That's really nice. Um, I wish we had something like that here. That'd actually be pretty damn cool. After all, warm food and the king of all ingredients will always lead you back to the world of fairy tales. Wow, that's actually um, pretty deep. I'm not gonna lie, damn. By the way, how is Ume doing? Uh, um, Ume. Oh, maybe she means no no? Maybe? Oh no, Ume, oh no, I think Ume is, uh, isn't that Komatsu Sensei, I think? U yeah, 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 that's, um, I think that's a Sensei. Ume is teaching cooking at the Nakuome Culinary School. Apparently, students are rushing to enroll there as well, just to study under a teacher who has personally prepared and cooked God. Haha, <laughs> I hope his hair doesn't go white again. <laughs> I hope his hair doesn't go white again. Well, after, from all the, all the shit he see, you know, getting some of those flashbacks, like, from, like, Vietnam, shit. So, yeah, I mean, I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. Just to study under a teacher. Oh, yeah, I read that. Damn. So, apparently, Kamatsu Sensei is now finally got the parations to, the, to teach the cook god for all around the, the actual world of Toriko. That is actually pretty impressive, I'm not going to lie. And how about you, Kama? So the same as always. Traveling around with your partner as the legendary duo, it. And Kamatsu's like, oh, I forgot. I had an, important, uh, an appointment with Toriko, and it's almost time. I better get going. I'll see you later, Take. Jeez, you sure are busy. Yeah, of course, because he's about to meet his freaking bro, man. He's about to meet the leader, man. He's going to meet the Saitama of the planet, man. Fucking Toriko, man. Of course, man, of course. I better get going. I'll see you later. Jeez. Where are you all to at this time, Koma? Yes! Face! Yes! to see it. Oh, yo. Yeah. No, come on, dude. No, this is the final chapter. Come on, man. It's the final chapter. Shit. No, come on, dude. Oh, by the way, this is the last time you're going to see my chair spin like that. I mean, shit. Well, pretty soon, pretty soon Chair Sensei has to go sooner or later anyway. Because, you know, sooner or later I do have to replace this chair anyway. I mean, it's good, but getting old as shit. I had it ever since before I even moved here, so. Oh my god, dude! We're going to space! Yeah! We're going to space! 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 Yo! Oh, right I hope this chapter isn't too short, man. Yo, at least I don't care, man. It's the final chapter. I don't care. I don't care. Alright, alright. Shit, it's hype, man. This is the final time I'm going to get hyped, even though it's the end. Go in space, dude! I want to see the fucking galaxies, dude. I need to see this shit in real time. But it sucks. We're not gonna get the galaxies in color, though, man. Shit! I wanted the shit to be in color, though. But I only heard it was the beginning anyway. So I'm not too upset about it. It is what it is. But I really, just like Bleach, man. I wanted a full color spread of the manga, though, which would be nice. But that again, you know, it is what it is. I guess, which kind of sucks. <laughs> Well, you be careful out there. <laughs> and, um, uh, Taki's like, you be careful. What the hell is he using? A freaking bug? A sword? What the hell? 
What is that thing? Okay, it's like a giant bug thing that, like, Komatsu, I guess, is taking the... Oh, no, no, he's not... Oh, okay. Oh, so, uh, I thought that was... Oh, I thought that was easy to go to space. Never mind. Oh, okay, so it's just focusing back on Toriko. And he's catching... It's a really big fucking bug, man. What the hell bug is that? It looks like a big, giant-ass cricket, though. And it's kind of... Toriko! Yo, you're late, Komatsu. Sorry about that. I got tied up chatting with the, uh... Oh man, shit, so the chapter's not gonna be extremely long. Damn it, damn it, damn it, alright. You're even late, come on. Sorry about that, I got tied up with chatting with, uh, with Take over at his park. Man, it really is beautiful out today. Even the sun, before it even realized it had, uh, returned back to how it was before. It's so bright. Speaking of that, I figured out the secret to the gourmet eclipse, Komatsu. Wait, what? You actually did? You actually figured out the secret? Wait, what the, what the hell can that be? What, seriously? Yeah, it's not really that big of a deal at all. A gigantic gourmet satellite. Oh, what was it saying? I'm sorry. Invisible to our eyes, we're just covering up the sun like a giant lid over a pot. A gourmet satellite. What the heck is that? <clears throat> yeah, what is that? Like, I want to know. An artificial satellite created out of gourmet matter. Apparently, the nitro have... Wait, what? The nitro had originally created for preparing planets for food. Preparing planets for f dude, that's crazy, man. A cooking satellite, though. That is really freaking bizarre, though. I'm not gonna lie. A cooking satellite. So then, it's a gigantic cooking utensil. And he goes like, "Yeah, I guess so." And I just noticed too. Torkel's hair got a little bit longer, even though it's only been like a year. <coughs> Geez, the skill is so huge, I can't even ima uh, even begin to imagine it. So then there could even be a frying pan to um, salad planets. A oh, salad? Yo, the two planets, man. Shit. Planets or a pot to summer them into. So you can use that for fucking planets, dude. That, that's crazy, man. Damn, I, I I can't I can't believe it, man. Man, the finale, man. And see, this is the potential I was talking about, man. This is what I'm talking about. If Toriko would have had one more act in the series, we would have had space adventures, man. We would have had space. We would have had space. Oh, don't don't cog tease me like that, man. I want to go and see space so badly. Moon, fucking Mars, R E D R C K S. I don't know. M A R S Mars Red Rocks. That's what I want, man. I want Red Rocks, man. No, we're not getting Red Rocks. We're getting Blue Balls. To further back that up along, long ago there was apparently a folk. T oh, it's the folk tale thing that uh, that uh, Kasi was talking about about a giant door demon god, oh, the Demon King. That's right. And of course, we didn't really get. Well, at least we're getting more information about it here for an end. About a giant demon king that will. Gnaw and chew on the sun. Looking at all this, it may not, it may not have been fiction at all. So you mean there was an actual demon? Excuse me. Around the sun? The gourmet astronomy research team first absorbed gourmet energy immediately following the, gour the gourmet Big Bang. And the reason I'm able to now detect electromagnetic waves I never was prior to Akasi's full course is because of that. Well, what's really shocking is what I saw in those waves. What was it? What? What? What the fuck? Dude, what? What? Yo, what is that? Yo, what the? Bruh, what in God's name? Are those like ultimate spirits of food? From all around it? Bro, that's so cool. Bro, that's awesome. Dude, that is fucking cool. Whoa, 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 dude. Whoa, whoa. Wait, hold on, hold on. Ah, oh, shit, man. God, man. Well, at least you see me. <laughs> this is hyped up now because this is the final time we'll be seeing that. The image was like a family all gathered around a dinner table. All sharing a meal together happily. So, so wait a minute. So this whole gourmet eclipse thing was a bunch of food spirits from beyond, and the and the fucking yo is a big ass table. Yo, <sighs> running around sun's orbit, dude. That is insane. 
What the hell? Dude, honestly, that that's crazy, man. What the hell? What what the heck is that supposed to mean? So giant beings are all surrounding a planet eating it? Yo, so they're like eating the planet. Yo, when Kamatsu puts it that way, yo, that's pretty insane. Not a planet. Oh, sweet. well, of course. Obviously, it's not. What they were sitting around was 10... It's the fucking Milky Way. Yo, it's the Milky Way. They're surrounded. It's the Milky Way is a giant dinner table. Yo, that's crazy. What? Yo. Oh, my God. What the hell? Dude. No. Are you kidding me? This is, this is, this is insane. Yo. Bruh. Yo, come on, dude. Oh. Wow, that's, that's, that's so fucking mind-blowing, though, man. That is mind-blowing. Oh, my God. <sighs> mind-blown right there, man. That, that, that is <sighs> fucking crazy. Just how huge were those creatures? Well, I had some questions about that, too, too so I asked. The appetite inside of me, the appetite inside of you, the third and the second. So the third and the second, we're talking to Toriko about this. And there he is for the final time, the third. There he is. <laughs> look at this dude. It's like he just doesn't really give a shit. Look at him. Yo, look at him. Yo, there he is. And, and he, oh my God, dude. I'm telling you, man, he, he's going to contain all this food, man. It, it's over, man. <sighs> dude, and they told me all kinds of things. Wow. So that's actually pretty cool that the third and the second actually got to get a rhetorico to explain all this. That once long ago, there was a world where all the various gourmet gods lived called the Furthest Lands. That's right, the Furthest Lands, man. And due to the infiltration of appetite there, all their gourmet energy exploded all at once. That was the gourmet Big Bang of 13.7 billion years ago. So it's like BC level shit? I'm guessing, I don't know. With such terrific force that would expand the entire universe of all these ingredients were sent flying scatter all throughout its vastness. And with them, one family of gods grabbed hold of the ingredients they wanted to protect. Those were the planet's full course. Yo, that's crazy. And from those centuries, so it's basically whoever is above the Milky Way that's guiding it and, and leading, you know, as like a god anyway. And basically it's around the Milky Way and protecting it, that's, that's insane. But that family was also separated and scattered from the force of the Gourmet Big Bang. And over the long passage of time, as Gourmet Energy began to change the colors of their favorite ingredients, many universes began to form. Ah, oh, many universes. We're also going to get universe. Oh my god, so much potential, man. Ah, that sucks. Black, blue, green, white, and red. Gourmet Big Bang. And even still, those gods continue to protect their full course in each of their universes. So, there's different universes of each of these gods. Yo, this is some DBZ shit. Like, honestly, what the hell? Even if their favorite food should change, they hope to one day bring the full course back together to share with one another. And they should, man. That They really should. But, again, depending on his final chapter, we're not going to see any of that, which kind of sucks. Unless he does a Kubo where... He will write maybe light novels about it, which that would be some really intelligent light novels. I would love to get my hands on those, but depending how big Torical is in the U.S. Their family's colors, the father was black, the monster white, the eldest son was red, the second son was green, and the third son was blue. Wait, green? But the third is like fucking grayish, though. Unless maybe that's someone else. I'm a different universe? See, that's confusing right there. So maybe he's... Oh, okay. So he's talking about... The universes. Okay, so maybe he's talking about the universes of their gods, probably. Wow, somehow that kind of reminds me of Akasia's family. Eh, in a way, kind of. Like, it sort of is. Akasia's gourmet cells Neo was black. Frozy's appetite was white. Yeah, that's correct, it was. That appetite that felt like it could wrap up any and everything without a speck of dirt to people, it's color. Haha, <laughs> so then the old man was red and Jiro was green. So, <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny what he says. So does that mean Jiro was a devil? No, he wasn't a devil. He was a beast. He was the savagery of all savageries of beasts, man. It's insane. But if Tepe's hair was green, 
but would have been long ago before he had gone gray. I guess that means Midora could have been blue. In fact, that all very well may be so. By the way, apparently that Buddha, what? That Buddha looking G thing inside of me. Oh, he's talking about the third. He's talking about the third. That Buddha looking G thing. <laughs> Because he is a G man, he, he's the one finger man. That's all he needs in his life, and it, it gone. All no, no. Oh my God. Anyways, do you think the first letters of all the full chorus that make up the word um, Pangea? Do you think that could be the furthest lands where all those gods once lived? <coughs> it's a possibility. <clears throat> you could be right. The gourmet energy that fragment off from those once. Unbelievable giant and powerful gourmet gods. That is the true identity of gourmet luck. <clears throat> it might be leading us to that land. And from the effects of the full course's atom, I've been gradually becoming able to see more and more gourmet matter. <coughs> Yo, come on, man. We better show the galaxies, man. I need to at least see a picture of it. In fact, now that I can see it clearly, space and the entire universe is a gourmet wonderland. Oh my god. And I think, Toriko, you've got a butt on your line. Oh. No, yeah, obviously. Yeah, pay attention to your fishing, bro. I mean, it's a good catch. And there we go. Yeah, huh. I hooked it. Uh, what the heck is that? Yo, what is that thing? So it's not a bug. Is that like a core, uh, core fish? The hell is that? Is this a shellf? Yeah, a shellfish. That's what I meant. Sorry, not core fish. <laughs> my bad. Dirt, a shellfish. Uh, where I've seen this before. Ah, this can't be. Like what we saw in Area 6's- Oh, the, the, the Blue Grill! Right, 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 right. That show-looking thing that we saw in Blue Grill. I forgot about that. Yep. I think I'll name this little baby mini, um, aim shell. Baby? He goes, baby. <laughs> the gourmet astronomy team have been selectively breeding these shellfish for use as spacecraft. Yo, as spacecraft. We're on page 15, so that means we're probably not going to see the galaxies like that. What? So then those are going to be space camping monsters? My god! Dude! Oh my god! Yep, they've been raised and cultivated in this lake. Alrighty then, it's about time to get going, come on to. Oh, please tell me, yeah, I don't care if we only show it for like two or three pages. I don't give a shit. I need to see these guys. I need to see these galaxies. I need to see them. Wait, we're going now already? Have you explained this all to Ren yet, Toriko? He goes, Yep, I told her I'm just going on a little hunt. Just a little hunt? This is space. Space. Sorry, I had to do it. We've no idea we'll ever come back. <clears throat> I mean, with the craft, I'm pretty sure it's not going to take that long. <clears throat> It'll be fine. Mini and Michelle can exceed the speed of light and travel by slipping into... Whoa! Are you kidding me? Yo! This fucking camping monster is fucking broken! What the fuck? It can travel through into cracks in space time! Dude! Oh my god! Yo, so much potential! And it sucks! It's such trolling and we're not gonna see it! Which, which sucks, man! Oh! God, oh, 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 why is it gonna end, like, seriously? In other words, it's a back channel. It'll be like reverse time deletion after returning from a journey with viewers. Yo, I swear, they better announce a sequel, man. That's all I want to say. Only, only a few days would have passed on Earth. Wait, but, but, isn't anyone else coming with us? Like, Coco, or Sunny, or Zebra? What about even Terry? Can they even, Komatsu, think for a second. Terry the fucking wolf in space. It, it, wolf is not going to survive in space, dude. I mean, un unless you actually protect it, like give it a separate suit, but I don't think it could survive in space that easily, okay? <laughs> I don't think that's how it really works, dude. <laughs> uh, just saying there. I think that will be impossible. Uh, to me, anyway, it would be. What about Terry? Terry has returned to his pack. Aww. No more Terry? Oh, so he returned back to his wolf buddies. Okay. So he's back with his pack. All right, that's pretty cool, I guess. So maybe he'll grow up there in an environment and probably learn and get much stronger. Hell, maybe he will be the new eighth king. That would be pretty dope. And same with the other pets. And same. What about the, the rest of them? 
Okay, after the battle with Neo, oh, here we go. All right, this is what I want to hear. After the battle with Neo, the current A Kings were all driven to step down. They're retiring? Well, not again. They have been pretty old for a while, including Bambita. Oh, not Bambita, dead ass. No Bambita though. What? What? No Bambita though. Which? Oh, uh, maybe they're gonna get like a new. Monkey King, and it's not Bambita. Maybe someone else. Maybe that's like him. I don't know. To step down and retire, although their wounds have all healed. Once a king has tasted defeat, he is from then on a king no longer. Oh, I see. But I do know Heracles gave birth like a year ago. So maybe that new, you know, Herak that was born could be the new king, which kind of makes sense. In the gourmet world right now, there is a power struggle over who will become the next eight kings. A battle between yo come on this is some trolling shit this is trolling at its finest man come on Mitsutoshi come the fuck on honestly man honestly bro come on what the hell so oh god man sucks Terry is also participating in that contest so it's probably gonna be like someone new many beasts from the human world are even stepping up to try and become one of the next a king so it could be something new that's not the usual a kings we have oh that's kind of insane like the troll kong or the devil orochi and even the regal mammoth they've all grown into fine beasts and become powerful that is what's up right there okay yo that is hype though that's hype so if of course it's a fight we're not gonna really oh my god shit ah oh, but that's still hype though like i'm not gonna lie for a final chapter yo misatoshi man misatoshi man you better announce like a sequel like toriko in space yo come on man we need a toriko in space someone please write to this man please tell him we need a toriko in space that's all i'm asking right now it's a toriko space adventures it would be the best damn thing of all time man yo it, it'd be insane by the way, Komatsu, Coco and the others are already traveling on a journey in space. Oh wait, so they beat him to it already? Wow, okay, huh, really? Coco and Zebra are searching for the final piece to their full courses in space. Oh yeah, that's right, because not all their full courses were completed yet. So, uh, and of course we're going to skip that, which is pretty odd. What, a space ingredient? We can't drag them behind too much. Otherwise, Zebra will... <laughs> Oh my god, that is so true, because Zebra, he will just eat the whole goddamn universe, are you kidding me? He probably would be if you want to. Excuse me. Come on, we're blasting off Komatsu. Alright, Toriko. Yes, and they're going to space. Here we go. Oh no. Uh, when they do this, that means it's really going to be the epilogue, really the end. Someone once said. Oh, it has been said. Oh, here we go. That somewhere in this universe exists a place filled with sweet, sweet planets that look like Shira... What the hell? Shiratama Dango. I don't know what the fuck that even is, but I guess it's some kind of candy or something? I don't know. They are called Sh um, Shiratama Planets. Okay, maybe it's some kind of sweet candy thing I'm not familiar with? I don't know. And on a, uh, and on a crater on a giant planet elsewhere... Bubbling serpent flows out endlessly. Dude, that's insane, man. But Misatoshi narrates this stuff. You know this is epic. Oh, wait, still, still, it doesn't matter. It still doesn't matter. We're still seeing it. Yeah, we're still seeing the galaxies, baby. Yeah. All right, this is nice. Okay, this is insane. Okay, this is what I like. We're seeing the aftermath of what these galaxies look like. And it looks awesome. Okay, we got some stuff bubbling out of the crater. And then there is a galaxy where Cosmos Madness Herd. A man is hurt, dude. Come on, come on, dude. We uh, come on, Miss Toshi. Watch this be all a troll and saying, Nope, we're on a hiatus for space. Yo, I'm gonna I'm I'm flip out. Yo, this is crazy. Each one being the size of an entire sun. Wait, they're the size of the sun. Are you kidding me? They're the size of the sun. That's insane. Are you kidding me on that? That's like unbelievable, right there. And somewhere within a space pantry that only appetites way enter exists still unknown, unseen ingredients slumbering, waiting. Oh man, oh my god. And inside, new ingredients are constantly being born and raised. Come on, man, set this up for a sequel, man. Come on, send me up for a sequel, and it will be said. But every now and then, a gourmet god will slip 
will slip in and sneak out with one of these ingredients. Well, of course, because each of the gods of the universe will just sneak it in. It's crackle space, man. Of course they can do that. It's, it's pretty obvious because it's so broken, this universe, I swear. Once there was a gourmet paradise where all those gods lived, the furthest lands. Yo! The fucking island, though. Holy shit. So that's the island. Yo, that's the island. That's, that's, that's insane. Oh my god. The unimaginable wondrous ingredients of the gods innocently spill out and overflow. The people of the world held these beliefs in their hearts and stomachs. Wow, man. Oh, we're almost at the end. No. No. Oh, my God. No. No. Oh, my God. All right. As they dreamed of one day eating them all. What the hell? Is that Mother Snake? Is that Mother Snake? Is that Mother Snake? Yo. Is that Mother Snake right there? Oh, new snake. Bro, bro, what is that thing? What are those? Yo, what is that though? Is that like a fucking moon? Is, is is there a moon inside that snake? What the hell? Look, Kamatsu, a what the hell is that? A menestrating dang dango planet. Ah, something just appeared. What is that, Toriko? What? Oh, it's a space typhon. All right, let's fight it. You the good. Fight it, man! You gotta fight it! Yo, this looks crazy! Dude! What the hell? It looks like it's got dots of the moon and shit. Like, this fucking snake, this, um, tapion just swelled it. Is this the space turtles? Yeah, they're space turtles. Wow! Is that a gun right there? What the fuck? What is this wacky world? What is this? And there's a gun right there. Out of freaking nowhere. Yeah, let's fight it! Yeah! First things first, let's get, uh, first things first, let's get some of those dango. No way, they're way too huge. We're gonna fight this thing? Eek! Aw, oh, man. Yo, this sucks, this sucks, this sucks. This is probably the last page. No, 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 no. Don't take it away from me, please. Oh, my God, no. Oh. No. Dude, this looks amazing. Are you kidding me right now, man? This is... This is insane, dude. <sighs> God damn it. Yo, you better announce a sequel to this. That's all I gotta say. Well, let's just read the final side panel. Let's just do it. As long as we're alive, our stomachs will hunger. So the adventure will never end. Thank you for enjoying Toriko for these eight and a half years. For more info on Jump Comics and my next work, please check out the next page. Starting next issue... What the hell? Noma Taka... What the hell? Well, what the hell? Um, more info on Jump Comics and my next work, please check the next page. Starting next issue, Moa Takamasa Sensei's new series... Or Gorasu? What the hell? Or Gorasu begins. Okay. Dude, uh, I need a minute. I need a minute. I need a minute. Okay, have a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. The end of days. The Toriko manga. Um, that's it, man. It, it's a fucking wrap. But there's another page, though. I just realized. What is this? Toriko space stuff scaling comparison. What? Yo, that looks so cool. Oh, that's Beast. Okay, that's actually really cool. And we have Mother Snake from right there. Okay, I remember that. The Akashia's hand, the Demon King, yo, yo, all in color comparison, dude, that's actually pretty insane, yo, the damage, yo, in color, alright, in color, this looks extremely fucking cool, I like the way it looks in color, it actually looks mad hype, like, yo, it's mad hype, bro, like, is this for real, did someone just actually draw this, like, uh, up to chapter 200, 
Okay, I think it's somebody that actually made this from DeviantArt. Okay, so this DeviantArt thing looks really cool. I like the uh, color spread this guy. Yo, and it shows all the damage. Oh, yo, bro, it's over, man. Oh, God. Well. Man. Man. Can't believe it. I know, man. This, 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 this is going to be like uh, I'm reading the comments, and it's right, man. This could, this, there could be a new series, like Misatoshi could expand it if he can, hopefully. Yeah, if he can, if he can. It depends how popular it would do. Like again, if it gets popular again, if his anime reboot does extremely well, then maybe there will be a full-fledged sequel one of these days. Man, I mean, there could have been a new arc, man, but... So... Man. Oh, man. Wow. So, that's the ending, man. All the hype potential to see the galaxies, though, is a bit of a ball buster, which I will admit, that's a bit more of a ball buster, which, which kind of pissed me off. Not pissed me off, but... It brought my expectations down, because obviously this is the end, and again, it just sucks that it, it had to end like this. Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know, I don't know. But, yeah. I mean, there was a lot of hype, don't get me wrong. I really wanted to see it. The explanations were freaking insane, though. Um... But, I don't know if I should really give this, like, an excellent review, because, like, oh my god. But no, actually, no. This explained so much in one fucking chapter. Like, it was insane. And the different galaxies, even though we didn't see the entirety of the galaxy, we saw some of it, which was actually pretty damn cool. So, I have to say, man. <laughs> wow. And you know what? You know what? You know what? Round of applause. It was nice that we got a send off, and it's actually great that there could be expectations for a space adventure one day. So that's pretty much my take on it. So there we go, guys. The last of the Torical chapters. That's it. I am done. I want to thank every single one of you guys. I'm going to give the chapter a 5 out of 5. It was mind blowingly one of the most awesome explanations I have gotten. And even though we didn't really get to see much of space, the hype was freaking real. Too bad this was the finale, but it may not be the end just yet. Maybe there could be a sequel one day, and Mr. Toshi really wants to push the lens even higher. Maybe we can endorse him to help him make the Space Adventures arc that we really want. But, yeah. I mean, wow. I am really going to miss Toriko Man. Like, a lot. I'm really going to miss Toriko Man. Like, I really am. And this was a really nice set off. Last week, you know, had me a bit in tears afterwards because I really thought it was the end. But then, before I didn't really show it, I was a, an emotional wreck just knowing this is my final Toriko video. Or is it? Maybe I will make a dedication video to Toriko or a Toriko manga review on just the series as a whole. And maybe that will be my final video on that same. But as, as long as live reaction goes, that's it. Unless I catch up with My Hero Academia. I mean, that's the only way I could replace Toriko in My Hero Academia. But again, it has to give me some time. I mean, I'm not really that far behind, really. So maybe that would be the thing. Or if I don't catch up with it within this year, it could always be next year in January as a New Year's proposal thing just to start off the new year with a bang. You know, like the Big Bang Theory. Well, anyways pretty much it so yeah i want to thank every single one of you guys for sticking with me to these live reaction slash reviews for over three years now yeah three years so it's been a long three years with you guys and i i really am gonna miss entertaining you guys with me getting all hyped me with the yo with the yo's and i definitely and and, and definitely with the king of lightnings live reactions as well i am gonna miss those as well and it just sucks, man. Like, it really, really sucks that this really is the end of Toriko, man. Like, it... But anyways, though... It's fine, though. It's fine. But, again, I just want to thank you all for sticking with me for these three years 
of this wonderful ride, this epic adventure, this craziness, bonkerness of this Torical universe. And now, where do we go from here? I think we could just believe that one day there will be a sequel. Cross your fingers. Let's hope. Let's just hope that one day we will have a sequel to Toriko one day that will lead to the space adventures. One day, hopefully. And yeah, man, that's basically it. So thank you all so much. Don't forget to check out my other videos as well if you haven't. Check out my unboxings. Check out my reviews of anime stuff over the week. Uh, if you're One Piece fans, check out my live reaction slash reviews of those as well with the anime and the manga. So yeah, that's pretty much it, man. So... Until then, uh, to my Torical fans and everywhere else, I will see you guys hopefully one day in the near future in the vast deepness of space. And one last time, one more time, giving my thanks, my prayers to the food god author himself, Misitoshi. Thank you, thank you so much. I thank you so much for, for everything for these past three years, man. It has been a wonderful, epic ride. It is definitely one of my favorite mangas right now of all time. Well, sort of of all time, kind of, of this decade. Uh, yeah. And now, I still have to move on strong with One Piece, at least for the time being, until I get closer to My Hero Academia. And, yeah. Even though, like I said, man, it's not going to be the same anymore. I wish Misutoshi, again, the best of luck. I wish him the best of luck when it comes to his... His, well, his gag manga I'm not so sure about, but I do wish him the best of luck in the future, and hopefully this will convince him to give us the space arc that we wanted. But until then, guys, that's it. I will see you, hopefully, guys, in the near future one day for all the Toriko fans out there. And so, for the final time for my Toriko live react slash review, peace, soul, love, chicken grease, and the sky is always the limit, guys. Anime manga fans, keep supporting what you read and what you watch. And as always, stay safe and have a good one. Sekai wo sad o godogo de o. Yeah! Guts! 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 Fight! Like, man, now I gotta be blasting the first opening of Toriko, man. Now I, I gotta go listen to that and the OSTs. Now it's gonna get me in the mood, man. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be that, but I'm gonna be, like, you know, crying a bit at the same time. Like, I can't believe it's over. But hopefully, oh, by the way, besides uh, 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 Space Arc, let's hope and pray we do get a, an anime reboot. I mean, if it's Toei, they better do it right. If not, screw it, give the license to someone else. Uh, hopefully, uh, Studio Madhouse, Bones, whatever. Please reboot Toriko. We need it badly, especially in times of need. Thank you. So, that'll be it for reals. It's been a run run, guys, but sayonara. Bye bye.